In this video you're going to learn about wall and window clearances in cabinet solutions. I'm going to use this standard base cabinet as an example. Notice that smart placer is turned on here. Now as I move around before I left click to place this cabinet, you'll notice on the I've got uh, left side and right side numbers that are changing indicating how far I am from the left and right side of the wall as I go to place the cabinet. So I'm going to intentionally overlap the end of the wall and left click and you notice that because I had smart placer turned on the cabinet snapped in four inches from the end of the wall. The reason the program chose to snap in four inches is because of a setting that I have in my standards. So if I go to standards, adjust job standards, initial values, windows and doors, this is where it pulls the four inches that it chose to snap in from the end of the wall. Clearance from door or end of wall, four inches. I also have a clearance from window of three inches. I can change that to zero and then every time I try to place a cabinet and overlap the end of the wall, it'll come in flush zero inches from the end of the wall instead of snapping in four or whatever. But this is a global setting, meaning it does this for every cabinet and if most of the time you do want this setting then you're going to want to override these settings on a case-by-case -case basis instead of changing it here. If you never want the program to assume you want a, a clearance from windows or doors or end wall then you'd set these to zero. Let's say I wanted to override I, w I still have my clearance from door end of wall at four inches. So let's say I just want to override this particular cabinet to go against the normal conventions. I would click the base cabinet, edit, I would turn off smart placer, then I go back and click move, and again pay attention to the left and right side as I move back and forth. So my right side as I move really close to the end of the wall here it's seven sixteenths of an inch uh, so let's say I want that want this to be flush against the end of the wall I'm gonna hit the F2 key as it indicates here I'm gonna hit F2 on my keyboard then I'll hit the number zero on my keyboard then I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard The cabinets absolutely flush I'm gonna add a window to the wall so I'll, I went to draw walls and then I'm gonna click edit wall click the wall place window and I'll just go with the default settings here except uh, that was a bad idea so I'm gonna delete it okay place window and we're gonna center align and we're gonna go distance from square 50 so the center of the window is 50, inch, 50 inches from the square centered on the wall make it neat for the demo and I'll go back to place cabinets now I'm gonna place an upper and I'm placing it over the window intentionally so when I left click it gives me three inches again that setting is in the same place initial values windows and doors I have a three inch clearance from window I can change that three inches in the standards or I can just override this particular cabinet just like I did with the base cabinet I click the upper edit uncheck the smart placer and then with smart placer disabled I can place this cabinet wherever I want 67 inches I'm gonna hit F2 67 uh, that's not quite right edit sixty eight inches is what I want F2 there we go so that's how you override that's how you set your clearances from walls, doors, and windows in 
cabinet solutions. It can be done either in your standards or you can override on a case-by-case -case basis, and uh, that's how it's done. Thank you.